This is the real Tom Rose, and we're dealing with a dastardly SAT trick, which is asking us to combine an equation and an inequality, something that is very hard to do. I'm going to show you a trick that you can use to make it a lot easier to handle. Um, so we're given x plus y equals 60, and x is less than 35. And what I'm going to suggest is that we take this inequality and actually plug it in to the equation. I'll show you how I suggest you do it. This is, this is totally illegal in the uh, sanctioned world of algebra. So this is, this is totally black market. Um, what I suggest that you plug in is less than 35. And I'm going to think of this as a number, a number which is less than 35. And I'm plugging that in for x. Then I'm going to just do the rest of the equation, plus y equals 60. Now I'm going to treat this like a number, um, and I'm going to do things that I would typically do with numbers to it. So I'm going to subtract less than 35 from both sides of the equation. And let's see what's left. We'll end up with y is 60 minus less than 35. And now you can ask yourself, we're actually, now we have a situation, it's still weird. <laughs> we haven't solved all of, the, all of our problems, but it's still weird, but now we at least have a chance of answering something which is asked in a reasonable way. So if you take 60 and you subtract less than, six, less than 35 from it, what you will be left with is greater than 25. Think about it. Think about it visually if you like. This is, let's say this has a height of 65. And we subtract 25. Oh, that was a bad example. We should have subtracted 35. So here's 65, and we're going to subtract from that 35 or less. So we, might, we could subtract all the way to 35, in which case we'd have uh, 25 left over. But we might subtract less than that, in which case the number 25 would be greater. So we, we're left with y is equal to greater, something greater than 25. And we can convert this into y is greater than 25. And notice that there is a definitive link between that and one of our answer choices, which is d.